sometimes some things may come to my mind and I may be wrong about this, but please hear me out. Think about Satan. Like, why did God allow, you know, like, we all know Satan is bad, right? I believe God knows Satan is bad as well. So why did God allow the serpent to deceive Eve? Why did God allow Satan to do all those things to Job? Hmm? Like, when Satan and one third of the angels rebelled, why didn't God just, I don't know how everything went, but lock them all up and somewhere separate to where they won't be able to affect us, if I am saying that rightly. Let me say this and before you think I have lost my mind, <laughs> let me say this and let me explain. I believe Satan and demons are here to help us. Let me finish. Let me finish. I believe we are supposed to become more like Jesus Christ every day. Right? I believe let's say I am very weak in my patience. So I think one of the ways for me to get better in patience is for my patience to be tested. Tested with rude people, mean people, or people who may be ignorant. So I believe demons use people to act a certain way toward others. In a sense, I believe Satan and demons help us by bringing us problems and we should use those problems to better ourselves, if that makes any sense. Like, how can I get better at giving? How can I get better at patience? How can I get better in loving my enemies? Unless I am tested. I guess God could snap his fingers and install everything I need, but I guess it may not happen that way or ever. So, in a sense, from how this world is and how everything is, I guess you can see demons and Satan as your enemy because they are, but don't see it as, I really hope you are understanding what I am trying to say to you. Like, I think in some videos or maybe some pictures like you may see Jesus versus Satan like they are arm wrestling or some mess like that it's not even like that it's like we are in a training school please listen to what I am saying I believe this earth is our training school and I believe God is using Satan and demons to help train us.
just listen to what I am saying. You may say I am crazy or insane or I have lost my mind. I have not. I don't think so. I believe in this life we are being trained. And I believe those demons and Satan are helping us train. I believe our enemy, which is Satan and demons, enemies are helping us to become better or to, if, if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, I believe demons are helping you to get better in Jesus Christ as in the way of being your enemy doing things to you, which I truly believe. So by trying to break us down, I guess I can say, look, I think if demons and Satan could kill us all, I believe they could. I mean, I believe they would. But I don't think they can. So if they can't, aren't they being controlled in some type of way? I think so. So I would say God is holding demons and Satan on a leash. And if that is true, you have to ask yourself, why is God even allowing the enemy or enemies to come at us? What else is there but to test you? So if God is allowing demons and Satan to do stuff to us, like what other reason is there but to test you? So if we are being tested, aren't we in like some type of training course? Ah, uh, listen to what I am saying. You may ask, what is the purpose of life and why am I living and all this stuff here? We are living, I truly believe, man, I truly believe we are on this earth. I believe we are being tested to see how loyal we are going to be to God. You may say, what is the point of going through all these problems and all this stuff like this? Ultimately, I believe it is about loyalty. Right? So if living in this life is about loyalty to God, why are you wasting your life? primarily or only or pretty much mainly trying to be successful and having, you know, like carnal things. Why are you placing those things first if we are in a training school? Does this make any sense? So Satan and demons, I believe they are being held by a leash. I don't think they can do whatever they want, anytime they want, all day, every day. I don't think they can do that in every way, no. But we have a choice to serve God or to serve Satan. Does this make any sense? Does this make any sense? I really hope so. So think to yourself, if life, if this existence is a training school, why am I trying to go outside of that purpose? Like, why am I trying to live outside of Jesus Christ? Why am I trying to live a life of rebelling against Jesus Christ if I am being monitored, if I am being, if I am being tested? Listen, training course, 
truly believe so. Am I telling you I pass every test? Of course not. I believe I fail quite a bit. But I am trying to become better. How? I believe we are purposely placed in situations to test to how I believe we are placed in certain situations for us to be tested to see how we are going to react. So the better I can react in situations I am placed in, I believe the more I am going to elevate in Christ. The more patient I am, the more long-suffering I am, the more dedicated, the more devoted, the less I do wrong, I believe I begin to become higher in Jesus Christ. So I believe we are being trained, tested, if you are trying to live for Christ. Loyalty, loyalty to Jesus Christ. And I think so many of us are failing, thinking life is something different, like having fun, primarily having fun and doing whatever you want to do. No, let me stop here. God bless you.